Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy Showtime SP, the nobody that knows bodies. And salute to all y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Gang, 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 gang. Um, John John and Don. Who we haven't seen, you know, battling in a little minute. The last time we saw him was versus Sue Surf, and we all know, you know, Surf pretty much got that battle. He had some things to say about none other than Calico. You know, um, Calico was at the Midnight Madness, and he probably liked the vibe, the energy, seeing that old school mentality with money on the floor. You know, and afterwards he started talking to none other than Hip Hop is Real, and he let them know that, you know, next time around, he, he's coming. Equipped with a round for John John and Don, letting them know that uh, you know I'm gonna be ready for you. I have I have something in the stash, and if that money right, that cash app get right, I might have that conversation with you in front of everybody, just to let them know that he 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 wants to smoke with you. I, you know, a battle like John John versus Cal is a battle that a lot, myself included, would have probably thought already happened, but it has that they never battle I, throughout all of these years. You know, we had Cal versus Rock and Cal versus Hitman and John John versus Hitman and John John and Clips and Clips and Rock and ever you would think all of the battles have intermingled and intertwined over these years, but John John and Cal have not seen each other yet. So John John and Don, who um while most, you know, a lot of people will try to give him flack for the battle versus Surf, he's gonna bounce back. And when he does Whoever he stands in front of is probably going to catch the wrath of hell. Like, he's probably going to go off and prove once again that, you know, the Don ain't saying it twice. And if you don't say the Don, you ain't saying it right is, is who he is. He still runs bullpen. He's got artists there. Um, Bad News had won that weekend. Loso still doing his thing. You know, and bullpen still puts together, you know, pretty dope events. So, uh, John, John, and Don... In responding to Calico says, so this is what we doing. Niggas planning sneak attacks. Calico, let me see the right amount of money on that floor. And I'm going to leave your body right there and walk out with that money. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. John John Don's like, look, the games that you playing, I ain't here for. And I don't care for. Uh, like I said, in a setting like that, it's a lot, of, it's a lot on the line. Not only with like the battle, you know what I'm saying, just like the respect, like losing to somebody for money. I think battling and battle rap, that's one good thing that I must say about what Sue Surf has brought into the game is battling for money, like right there on the spot. Like, come on, all right, we ain't pocket, you know what I'm saying, we pocket watching. But when two battlers get their money, whether they're going to win, whether they're going to lose, whether they choke, you know what I'm saying, like, that's cool, but... It's more excitement to the fans when, you know, there's judges and somebody's winning and losing right there on the spot. There's a couple bands on the ground and you just see somebody picking up the money. Like, it's cool to get it, but, like, to take it from someone, like, to take, I'm, I'm taking this money from you, it just means a lot more. And that's why you see a lot of artists are uh, looking towards that vibe. Like, yo, this might be something I could get into because they, want, they like that competition. Say, I beat this person. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I took the money. What's up? Who and who won next? You know what I mean? And it gives people opportunity that like some artists that probably wouldn't be getting a whole lot of attention per se, whether it be battles or situations or not being on URL, whatever the case may be, to go in there, snatch your respect out the streets, like, you know, um, this is what it is, you know, you see guys are turning up and, and respect to them, you know what I'm saying? Like you seen bad news go in there and do his thing. You had uh, Snake Eyes, he, he just revitalized his shit in there. And that's good, and it's showing that, that these cats gonna be battling like every couple months, you know, when big leagues are, because URL hasn't really had an event since the um, first of the year with the Super Fight. Now they come with the band, I'll talk about that in another joint. And artists, you know, it gives them a way to stay out there and to keep, you know, keep, keep the wheels moving in between time and in the meantime. But when it comes to Cal, 
Cal ain't the type to back down to nobody, whether it be battle rapping or whether it be anything outside of that too. It's not really a back down. He's he's gonna bring the war and bring the smoke with you. And him and John John the potential one rounder, like it's cool. I like I'm more of a three round battle type of person, unless it's like there's certain one rounders, and I'll talk about them in other blogs that you know that are it could, it could really be that and be a classic. But for the most part, a lot of them. Leave you wanting more. Um, like I said, I'm ready to see John John Don again in the ring. See him battling. You know, everybody is in the sport of battle rap. Everybody's gonna lose. Don't matter who it is. It ain't about losing. You know, as much as it's about what you do after. You could lose to somebody who just lost two, three battles, and but but the way you lose, the way you handle it, it means a lot too. And I know he's gonna do his thing. And you should see it. Like we're gonna see it soon. Like that's not even a, a, a notable question when it comes to John, John, and Don. And when it comes to Cal, I like Cal with the calling out of someone. You know what I'm saying? In a public form or public face, you call him out. Yeah. Now it's like, all right, cool. I'm gonna I'm I'm call your bluff. Is you really? Is you really with that smoke? Is you really with it? I know Cal is, and I know John, John, and Don is too. And there's so many other aspects and variables and things that you would think about. As far as with what's going on right now, I mean, it, it looks good though. It does, you know. The trailer comes out. Trailer looks good. Anderson Burris directed it, you know, and he's another MC that hasn't. I told you guys. I said, yo, his work with the camera may, may his work with the camera may take him places that battle rap won't. And I'm not saying that there's places in battle rap he can't go, but when what he when you make film and you edit film and you see what he does, you're like, yeah, he, he's definitely got a bright future ahead of him. So shout out to him and uh, Sue Surf and Jack Boy Main and uh, Bill Collector, seeing Bill Collector and Jack Boy Main in roles where they're like leading some, putting things together, making things happen. That shit looks super dope. But uh, a John John and Don versus a Cal. Oh yeah, if that was to happen, that's gonna take that whole situation from like here. Cause some of the, a lot of the battles on there, they're good battles. There's no like, you know, they're good. They're cool, it's intermediate level guys, whoop de -woo, that's trying to get they, they, they buzz up. You know what I'm saying? And you got higher ones like Lou Castro and then you got a big T and things like that. But once you get them names, names, names on there, battling for money on the floor, you might see work that we ain't seen in a while. Like you might see, and it's dope. Even with the other names, you see Snake Eyes, he's about to battle Swamp next. They going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Swamp is talking what he's talking. Snake is talking what he's talking, and <laughs> that could be a pretty interesting conversation, you know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, once you get in a position where he's at, as far as Snake Eyes is at right now, you won, nobody can't really talk shit about you. He's an MC that a lot of people like to talk about, oh, this, 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 and this, but guess what? He just won. Can't take nothing away from him, you know what I mean? It's like the Bengals. The Bengals are in the Super Bowl. A lot of people say, oh, this team's supposed to be there, this team was supposed to be there. Oh, Patrick Mahomes, woo 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 Listen, it sound good. But on any given Sunday, anybody could win. And that's the beauty of the of the beast right there. It's like, yo, yeah, this person's nice. That person's nice. But are they in a clutch situation? Can they deliver at the highest level? Hopefully them joints start dropping immediately and people who didn't see them get to see and judge it for themselves. And you know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, I like Cal versus John Chan. Give Give us that. Can we get that? With some bread on the ground, huh? What they talking about? What's the right amount of bread on the ground? Is it a thousand? Is it two thousand? Is it three thousand? Four thousand? Once you start getting in them high numbers, it's like y'all niggas might as well do three rounds. You know what I'm saying niggas be like, oh, niggas will see three rounds, be. But uh, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's cooking, so we looking. Is they booking? One.